The news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola P. Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney. Pixar. Marvel. Star Wars. And National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus. Facing life-threatening incidents including being held at gunpoint, being confronted by a man with cutlass, and cases of just doing their job with pride and honor have resulted in a number of female officers of the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force being honored at a special gala event on October 11, 2022. August is another good month for me in policing. I always tell people so. In 20, last year, 17th of September, we were patrolling up the road. Scooter man fell off his bike and, like police officers, we stopped to render assistance. The young man was, he was seriously injured and he keep insisting he don't want to go to the hospital. And while I'm there, trying to get an ambulance, trying to get some assistance, all I heard Miss Cardinal shout. And when I look back, we were staring at the barrel of a gun. You know, some people say, you know, my whole life flashed before me. That's a lie. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> I didn't see a thing but a barrel of a gun. And when you think that as women, they will run away, this young woman stood firm. And I could tell you, I will go to hell and back with this woman. Because I could tell you, ordinarily, a woman would run and let the man take the licks. But she and Miss Thompson were right there with me. And we were able to talk to the guy away. And we were able to subdue him later on in the day. Ladies and gentlemen, my first day back from vacation last March. We had a report about a mentally ill person who was basically break, breaking up a house. And when I called for the tactical unit, they said they were engaged somewhere else. And our phones keep ringing off. And the last thing I saw before I left the station is a text from Mr. Larrack to say, guys, be careful. Somebody, he just texted somebody and said, He's going to kill a police and kill himself. But we journeyed up, me and two female officers, Miss Ovi Stevens and Kajana Stevens. I used to call them the Stevens combination. And we went up there. And this guy came down blazing with two cutlass in the hand. And I told him, go inside and lock yourself in. And when I look back, those two females were right there with me. They mean if I will go down, they will go down. Ladies and gentlemen, two brave women of police. One of my first aims when I became chairman back in 2015 is to ensure that justice was served on a woman who I felt years ago was dealt a bad deal by the organization. Regardless of what they did to this woman, this woman will show up do her job, and do her job well. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Karen, you have to do her job by your side. Women of the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force were celebrated under the theme Raising Up Women in Policing, featuring keynote speaker, Superintendent of Police of the Barbados Police Service, Ms. Christine Stanford. The fact that at this time, the contribution of female officers are being recognized, therefore fit nicely within the framework of the forces strategy. From the outset, let me inspire you to be confident. 
to continuously improve your knowledge, your skills, and maintain a positive work ethic. I encourage you to be mindful that the latter half of the last century and continuing, women worldwide stood as examples of power and courage alongside their male counterparts. This has been significant in leadership roles and moreover in previously titled non-traditional roles or male-dominated career fields. This must continue and it is important that our women police remain above reproach in their conduct and set examples of integrity for all in the force, both male and especially females. There is still much to be done as women emerge and maintain positive role model influence, overcome challenges, achieve and maintain parity with men while displaying the highest standard of conduct. The Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, like any modern law enforcement entity, has an enormous responsibility especially given the range of national challenges that we face today. This is particularly so in an era of highly networked, multi-dimensional threats, among which are globally networked transnational organizations. As law enforcement, we face a broad spectrum of security threats, such as global terrorism, transnational organized crime, cyber attacks, extreme weather phenomena, and an envelope of economic crisis adding to the mix. Compounding this, revolutionists, states, hegemonic actions, cascading problems down to small Caribbean islands such as ours. The complexity of these security threats, particularly illicit network like terrorists, criminal and proliferators, requires a multidisciplinary approach to comprehend and effectively counter. The convergence of illicit networks and events, whether deliberate or not, their magnitude, velocity, and violence oftentimes overwhelm state capacities, threatening sovereignty, human security, national development. We therefore need to be focused and constantly redouble our efforts among our states and forces, as opposed to looking only at what problems cross into our borders. Communication, cooperation, and collaboration through private-public partnerships to counter the convergence of illicit networks will be paramount. Women are represented at every level of the force in this small island. For example, in 1966, Miss Elaine Baronville was the first female enlisted. She served for 34 years and retired as woman inspector of police. In 2012, woman inspector Paula Aline became the first female chief inspector of police. <laughs> Females throughout the force have continued to emerge to high heights. And in 2016, the proverbial glass ceiling in the organization was broken when inspector Jacqueline Vanderpool was appointed as the first female superintendent of police and presently, 
Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police. There are a number of females at the inspectorate and supervisory levels. Female officers are represented in the Criminal Investigation Department, Marine, Tactical and Operational Units. I am told and I heard tonight that your complement of female officers is 85. Congratulations. This is an achievement, but it is not about the number of females serving. It is more about the quality service provided. Now, how do we do that? I am sure that you hold to your vision, you hold dearly to your vision to excel at serving and protecting the people places and communities of the Virgin Islands. Your mission? To keep people, places and communities of the Virgin Islands safe. And your core values, integrity, fairness and respect defines how you will interact with communities, partners and staff. Among the treats for the night was a surprise appearance and performance by Jugo Sprove, while the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service All Female Band was in their full element. Don't be afraid to stand and dance. Come on. Rock with me. Ooh. Rock with me on the dance floor. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Choose your mix, choose your flavor.